welcome to the vlog. We're here. It's by early. It's seven. Seven. Seven a.m. That's it. We're getting started already. A bit chilly, so we need some heating in this casa. I like to think of my my car as my house, my mobile house, because at the end of the day, that's the frozen sign. It's icy. So let me take you through the plan of today. We have many things on our list. So many things that this vlog is going to be bam, bam, bam. Get it out of the way, you know what I mean? Like, got to pace through it. Um, but basically what happened was, I had my morning planned out for this video, ready to go, and then my mother, what she did was, she always struggles with her food shop deliveries. I don't know what it is about mums. I don't know if it's just my mum. One time she sent it to the wrong address. One time she ordered like seven bags of carrots by accident. And yesterday she ordered it for the morning when no one was in instead of the evening. So instead she's had to reschedule it for today. Long story short, I had to be home between 9 and 12 to make sure that the food delivery was going to come. The first thing we need to do on today's agenda is go to Starbucks. This is a New Year's vlog. Get my life on track because as I fill you in on the vlog, you'll see that my life has been a mess lately. I really thought that 2020 would be like the start of something new. But it hasn't. It's been absolutely tragic as of this far. I feel like everyone else is thriving and I'm doing the worst I've ever probably done. We love it. Let's go. Joe and Jim. I wonder if there's a gym watching. I have a feeling there's a Joe, but I have a feeling there's no gym watching. So I just feel it in my, in my bones. Um, when I get started, I'll explain why we're there. We want to know my beloved Starbucks cup. I have three. I have one that has my name on it, and I have the one I got in New York. They're like the same, but they're not double walled. And not being double walled is a slight issue because you get a bit of condensation on your hands. Bit of a first world problem, but it is an issue at hand. So then I had this one with whales and sea waves on, and it was my favorite one. My friend got it from me from Hong Kong, and I loved it so much with all my heart. And the other day, uh, my sister accidentally knocked it, and it broke. <laughs> We try not to focus on it because we will get upset, but then I won a Starbucks voucher. Very happy about it. And then I was in the Starbucks in Covent Garden in London and I found this beautiful. It was stunning. It was blue. We all know how baby blue is my favorite color. Love blue things. I just love them. And it had these little white dots, like silvery white dots on. And it, was, it wasn't even double, it just double walled metal so it could have hot and cold liquids. And then I saw that it was on sale and for some bizarre reason, I didn't get it. I don't know why, don't know what came over me. Uh, it's fine, we get over it. But I'm really hoping that the Starbucks has it, quite frankly, I've woken up early because I wanna, I wanna get it. It was on sale for seven pounds, why did I not buy it? I'm having major life regrets. I keep doing that, but I'm trying to save my money, but then I was like, actually, I've got a voucher. And we're also probably gonna get a drink because let's be real with Starbucks without getting a nice Jesse drink. I really hope they have it, come on. Oh, I really want it. It's such, such a beautiful cup. It's indescribable. Let's go. Fingers crossed. Pray for me. Okay, we're going to take a hot minute. Uh, what do you think? Let's have guesses. Do you think... Filming Grace know that editing Grace was already going to spoil it. They didn't have them. No, there wasn't. I'm so upset. There wasn't. Uh, and I was going to use the cup to have my hot chocolate in. So hot chocolate because we just need it. I just want it. Feel good, you know. Fantastic. And the staff in there are just superb, if I'm honest with you. Warming the very cockles of my heart. So we're getting on with the rest of our day. I might try the Cafe Nero new croissant. After that disappointment, I need a little pep in my step, and a hot chocolate apparently is not enough. So upset about that. I wonder if the one in Covent Garden, do you reckon I can reserve it? I might call up the one in Covent Garden. I've really been good at phone calls lately. I normally hate phone calls, but I've been really bossing it. We are about to go to Cafe Nero now, cafe hopping, because after the disappointment of the Starbucks cup, I just want to fulfill my happiness with a, a croissant. I also need to go to Morrison's and get myself some pecans because i want to make a pecan pie i just had the call that the driver for the groceries is gonna be there at half eight so i need to run oh my goodness nothing like a morning 
What a whirlwind of the morning, that's like a real turn. There I was, trying to cough at Cafe Nero. So I had a missed call. So I was gonna have a nice little relaxing morning Cafe Nero. The vibes in that Cafe Nero were, oh, that was classical music. If you know me, classical music is my favorite. I love it. I've got the raspberry croissant. Food delivery isn't supposed to come till 9.30. But then I got the call saying it's going to come at 8.30 and it was 8 o'clock. And obviously, I have to get back home, get the Cafe Nero. So once this food delivery has come, I'm going to get myself together. And also that meant that I couldn't go to Morrison's for a little supermarket sweep, which we love. Which is a shame. But I'm going to put the cinnamon roll dough on, I think. And we can make some cinnamon rolls and chat about our feelings. I don't know if you can see this on my phone. The time is 8.38. The food delivery guy isn't here. So I rushed for no reason. Cinnamon roll dough is on. And we'll make the actual cinnamon rolls together because no one wants to just see me weighing out. I can hear it. I get really stressed during the food shop. Thank you. I wasn't too bad. I was concerned. Mum got voucher online for the Cardo shop. Uh, and she's loved it. She had like... I don't know how much of it was. I mean, they never normally do a Mikado food shop. We've got some mint. This must have been on offer because mum never has ever, ever, never bought this. How flipping cute, baby courgettes. I love spring onions though, don't think they get enough street cred. Um, just the angry video, you can see my initial taste test. But we've got a lovely, this croissant, honestly, the amount of new foods Veganery have brought out, I'm living my best life. There are so many things. Too many things to try. After this, I'm gonna have a shower. Hello. I'm gonna have a shower. I can't remember if I need to wash my hair or not. Hello, we are fresh and clean now. I've got, I got about four pairs of slippers for Christmas. So it's really great having options and I love it. I love shaking it up. Sometimes I wear my panda ones. Sometimes I wear my bread ones. I'm ready for the next stage of our finally just getting my stuff together, doing the things I want to in 2020. Basically, let me take you back. Two years ago, I started on this acne medication called Epiduo. Now, Epiduo essentially bleaches your skin. Um, that's what someone told me anyway. And I used to have freckles. I was, I loved my freckles. You know, loads of people are like, ah, I hate my freckles. Don't know why, loved them. I think it gave a real certain je ne sais quoi to my face, if I'm honest. Um, and then when I started using Epiduo, my freckles just disappeared. My hypothesis is that because it bleaches my skin, it takes the colouring out. Totally don't think that's right. Totally think I've made that up and I'm just like grown out of my freckles. But I'm really sad about it and I want my freckles back. And there are two things I really wanna do this year. One was get my freckles back, but obviously that's out of my control. And then the second one was I really wanna get bangs, like these, I'll show you on screen what I mean. And I've been um and ah about it for a year, but I'm just not brave enough for that yet. So then I thought, as a rite of passage for everyone who's going through it lately, I feel like everyone on YouTube does something wild to their appearance. As we've seen many people do henna freckles, I feel like this was a trend about two years ago and then no one's done it since because it normally doesn't go that well, but I have seen some really good ones. I want to see my face with freckles again, quite frankly. So I've watched, I actually want to do this well, like I don't want it to go wrong because what's the point of that? I want it to be a success, I want to have freckles back in my life. So the first thing you do is you oil your face. But I use almond oil to moisturise at the moment. So I've never used it on my face, so I feel like it's going to break me out. But I've already got loads of acne because that's just what my life is at the moment. Okay, and then basically, actually, we're just going to get into it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I feel like it's going to work. I feel like this could take some time. This is so much fun. This is so therapeutic and fun. Oh my gosh, if I get freckles from this, I'm going to be absolutely ass. I really also hope the postman doesn't come because you have to leave this for six hours. I feel like it's actually burning my face already. I'm gonna make the, the freckles really heavy on my nose because that's where they used to be. And then they used to, I had loads of freckles on my forehead. I just don't know where they've gone. Like freckles, can you come back? I never asked you to leave the premises. You are more than welcome. I need to see a picture. This is fun. Is this right? I feel like it's not right. I'm gonna go too close to my eyes because I know I do have sensitive eyes. I'm having, why am I having so much fun doing this? So most people get surgery for lip fillers, but I'm down for surgery freckles to be honest. Also, do you know what's the great thing about freckles? It masks spots. I remember when I had freckles, I was like, is it a spot? Is it a freckle? No one knows. Why are my eyes burning? 
I really hope the postman doesn't come today. I'm a bit bored now, actually. That's one of my personality traits. I'm a really good starter and a bad finisher. Hey, haven't the freckles made my skin look so much clearer? <laughs> Why have I done this? Oh gosh, I really hope this works. Uh, so six hours time, you pick it off. You don't want to wash it with water, because that means they won't stay. I've looked at this picture, I just feel like I haven't got enough. Do you reckon I need more? <laughs> right, let's make some cinnamon rolls. So I'm gonna make the cinnamon filling for the cinnamon rolls. Now, actually this is a bone of contention because when my brother moved out, my mum gave all of the good bowls to Jesse. And now we're stuck with these ones. This does not work for cereal. It's fine, we get over it. You know what I love? The fact that margarine, Marge is a name, and one of the types of margarine is called Flora. And Flora is also a name. I would kind of have loved to have had a name that's food. I really like the name Clementine. I really like the name. <gasps> Why is someone called Cinnamon? I feel like Cinnamon would be a good name for someone. Isn't that quite a beautiful name? Cinnamon. I wonder when I'm older, when, I, when I'm married, calling it into existence, I wonder what my pet name for my husband's going to be. I have to make this into a homogenous mixture. Also, tell me guys what videos you want to see from me this year. I want to do new things. I want to push the boat out. However, I am really enjoying just vlogging. Like this video today is one of my favorite types of film. Where I'm just up to Grey's shenanigans because this is what I get up to even if I wasn't vlogging. You know what I mean? Uh, is this what quarter life crisis looks like? Not knowing what your future is. I feel like this might be all quarter life crisis is. But it's fine, we get over it. We carry on, we persevere. That's what I'm gonna do this year as well. I wanna make a, a sourdough. I, I've never made my own one at home. Um, because obviously I used to just pinch it from uni. They always had a really good one. And I feel like I'm gonna try and keep one alive. I love baking. I love it. So therapeutic. Should I add raisins? I never know if my family like fruit and nut and raisin in the cinnamon rolls and I wanna make it how they like it. Roll her up. Right, gonna let them prove for a bit. All of my family is saying that I've made it too circular. So I might go in with some extra, um, cause I mean, why not? It, but I'm worried it's gonna go too close to my eye. Oh yeah, in here. Why do I really like it like this? I'm so impatient, I just want my freckles now. But it's fine. Um, so the cinnamon rolls have been proving. Woo, I feel like I shouldn't have put the little nubbins in, but we don't want any waste, you know what I mean? Going in. Just flip them and now I need to flip them back over onto a cooling rack. I just have to answer the post, the postman. But he was the sweetest human ever, oh my word. I said, don't mind my face, and he's like, didn't even notice a thing. I love our postman, he's just the best. Making some giant falafel hummus roasted veg wraps. Cinnamon rolls are finished. Boom, boom, shake the room. Uh, I just tested some of the henna, and I peeled it off, but it still doesn't look like it's ready. Oh no. I think I'm having a load of reaction to it. Hey, if it all goes wrong, got a cinnamon roll. Flip that good. I'm gonna take a few off now and see how they're doing because I actually have to go out now. I didn't plan my time very well, did I? Um, I'm not, it says not to use water to just like, <gasps> I think it's gonna work, guys. I'm so excited to have freckles. I'm gonna leave it on. Like, can I just leave it on? Oh. Oh, it's so good. We got some issues or something. Oh no. No! What happened? I'm going out literally in an hour. This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. It's weird. Some of my face has taken to it really well. My cheek hates it. So weirdly nice to peel off. It's also a bit sharp. Oh. <laughs> I've got my granddad's 80th birthday party tomorrow. Uh, I'm just gonna judge by the whole family. Has it <laughs> I feel like it kind of looks like I've just had a bad allergic reaction to something. Or I've had bad acne. I kind of, hang on, my potatoes are going on. Um, I actually feel like it's a bit orangey, that's the issue. Oh, it's actually stayed. So weird. Hey guys, come back in here. What do you think? It looks, it's weird, isn't it? It kind of does, but kind of doesn't. It does suit you. It's because you didn't do them wrong long enough, did you? You still got some laying. No, I did it for six hours. It says you can do it overnight, though. But do you know what? Because I used to have freckles, didn't I? 
Never that bad. Chloe had more freckles. I know. But if you've I did got used freckles, to have them. Don't show up. I know. I already said that. My spots don't show up if I have freckles. It'd be great if it didn't. Anyway, I'm going to have my potatoes and we'll get the rest of the family's reaction. Just a light little snack of some potatoes, some samosa and some onion bhaji. This is what we call a potato interlude. I want them permanently now. What do you think? Why have you got freckles on? Because I wanted them. I miss mine. Mine disappeared. You look different. Do I? Very different. Do I? I do think it's agitated this bit of my cheek though. Thanks. Hi, up, I think. Hello, what do you think of my face? Hi, up, honey. There. Yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually into it. It kind of worked though, you can't deny it. How long does it last, Grace? Seven days. But I don't think it will. For those of you who actually may want to do it, this is what it looked like two days afterwards. So the freckles were still kind of there and thriving. Probably shouldn't have done that many on my cheeks, but no holding back. Making this vlog, it felt like one of my proper old school ones, like back in the day where I just vlogged my shenanigans. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you want to see from me this year? Let's let's shake it up a bit. Let's have some fun new ideas. Let's do let's do new things. Woohoo! Yeah. Love you all loads. Also, all my freckles have gone now. I'm really sad about it.